Today on Trisha. Out of control moms and grandmas. As always, I am the center of attraction. Your son Vincent. He's 21. You would never date any of his I've friends. I've dated. I've dated two or three of his friends. This grandma dresses like a hoochie and drops it like it's hot. I may be 55 years old, but I am sexy as hell. This is me. Her family says it's time to cover it up and tone it down. No. Look at her. She needs to realize that she's not in her 20s or 30s anymore. She's in her 50s. She needs to cover it up. You just need to tone it down. You know, you well, put a bit start, away. Put a, a bit away. Blood, 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 away. <laughs> you know, she has too much. But Grandma has no plans to stop the party. I love my curves and I love my body. This mom sports a punk rock look and posts racy pictures of herself on the internet. What kind of attention do you get when you go out dressed like this? Well, it's mostly positive, really. Her kids are mortified. Someone her age should not be posting half-naked pictures online for the world to see. What do you think of her dress like this? Uh, I think it's ridiculous. I can't stand it. The worst part about all of it is she flirts with my friends. They want her to look more like a mom and less like a groupie. How do you wish your mom dressed? Uh, like an adult. Our crack team of stylists will transform these ladies. Makeovers. Or shall we say make unders. Wow, wow, wow. My granny needs a makeover. Today on Trisha. Your dear, sweet grandmama dressed like this. Oh. Uh -huh. Or went to the grocery store in an outfit like this. Oh. Or what if dear grandma showed up to your daughter's birthday party wearing next to nothing? Oh. Well, my first guest, Marcel, says that this is how her daughter's 55-year-old grandma, Linda, dresses every day. Now, Linda says she... <laughs> Linda, she's so sexy, so hot, she's become a local celebrity known as Miss Jackson. <laughs> Marcel and her 14-year-old daughter, Antoinette, say this isn't a makeover, it's a downright intervention. Have a look at this. I need help with my mother-in-law, Linda. She's a smart, brilliant lady, but she just shows a talent. Too much skin for her age. My grandmother? Oh, no. She needs to realize that she's not in her 20s or 30s anymore. She's in her 50s. She needs to cover it up. Her outfits are ridiculous. Breasts, boobs, back out. Grandmas in A50 should be banned from wearing outfits like that. I just graduated from eighth grade. I was thinking, OMG, please don't let my grandmother walk in here with one of her crazy outfits. She walked in with a big red fro and a hot pink outfit, and of course, all eyes was on her. So I went out with her for her birthday, tried to be nice. She was in the middle of the dance floor, the center of attention, dropping it like it's hot. Everyone knows her around our town. She gets free things every corner store we go in. She knows she got it going on. That's why she's known as Miss Jackson. So, Marcel, you're you're yes. pretty foxy dresser yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. wondering what you call outrageous when it comes to how Linda dresses. Boom, bow, kapang. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think of. You know, she comes out and she have everything just flowing. Don't get me wrong now, she is a sexy lady. Yeah. She just needs to tone it down just a little bit. <laughs> Your locality is Miss Jackson. How come? Everywhere we go, it's 
Hey, Miss Jackson. How you doing, Miss Jackson? <laughs> like, men just falls down they to do? the floor when they see her. When I tell you, they be at the bar, they say, hey, who is that? Your sister? I'm like, that is my mom. <laughs> they be like, oh, my God. <laughs> I understand she gets things for free, Antoinette. Is that true? Have you seen her get things for free? Yes, all the time. <laughs> Give me some examples of what she gets for free. Okay, like, for instance, right? I was dropping the kids off. I was dropping the kids off last weekend. Yeah. So mama calls me and say, well, go to the store right there at the corner. Tell him Miss Jackson sent you. He know you, you know you in there. Go get the juice for the baby. And I say, that man don't know me. She said, give him my name. Tell him Miss Jackson sent you and told him to come on up here and get the juice. And you got it for free. You got it for free. For free. And she, she reckons she's one of the sexiest ladies. Antoinette, does your grandma like to boogie? Does she like to get down and dance? Yes. Where? Anywhere, everywhere she goes. In, like the, we, in the street? Anywhere. We could be riding down down the street. She mm -hmm. she hears a song, she like, she will get outside of the car and just start dancing. She will. <laughs> she will. She will. I'm telling you, don't don't let flashlight or wicked wicked come on. Yeah. Them is her favorite song. Oh, right. She will stop that car. <laughs> she will stop that car. And she, I'm telling you, people be honking their horn and everything. In the middle of the road? In the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about, tell me about your graduation, because I think your grandma turned up in an extra special outfit. Yes. Yeah. So, I was graduating from eighth grade, as you can see behind you. She shows up with this bright red fro. Were you, and, were you praying before she came out? You know, your grandma's coming. Yes, I, was, I already knew she was going to show up. So, you know, graduation, a lot of people. So I'm like, <laughs> please do not let her show up in one of her crazy outfits. <laughs> and that's how she, she walked did. in. She, that she is did. how she did. She did. She did. And what about Marcel, I understand you arranged a little teen birthday party for Antoinette. And what did grandma show up in, in on that day? It wasn't too much of what she was wearing. She made the party. All the kids went from her party to the <laughs> living room because grandma then was in there doing the electric slide. <laughs> then, yeah, yeah, yes. So then, wait a minute now. One time I took her out for her birthday. I said, come on, let's go yeah, out yeah, to the nightclub. Yeah, yeah. It's your birthday. When I tell you, she was in the middle of the dance floor dropping it like it's hot, like it's nobody's business. <laughs> like it's nobody's business. And then she called me the next day, said, girl, you know I'm so, I gotta put some Bengay on tonight. <laughs> Is she attracting? Any guy, every guy. They Old, all young. older, young, middle yeah. aged, they all love they her. All like all her. Of they all like her. They all love her things. Her. But what happens if you tell her to tone it down, cover it up a little bit? Oh, she said, uh, you she only get one life to you live. You only get one life to live. Mm -hmm. Try to make it to my age. I'm grown. I do whatever I uh -huh. want to do. She do say that. And she say, you got to wish you look my age when you get this, <laughs> when you get this grown. Yeah. yeah, she say that. And she say, yeah. mm -hmm. she okay, says. tell me why you would like her to turn it down then. It comes a time in your life, you know, where you just need to tone it down. You know, you well, put a bit start, away. Put, leave, yeah, put a bit away. Leave a little a bit lot for the magic. Away. A lot, a lot for the magic. <laughs> <away. laughs> you know, she has too much. important piece. Okay. How would you like to see grandma dress? Like a grandma. What? She say like a grandma. <laughs> like a grandma. Uh, I'll tell you. What, are, we, are we talking uh, like little old tweed suit and a row of pearls? You need everything covered. I tell you. Conservative. Mm -hmm. You know, you can still be sexy. You know, you, can, you, can, you don't have to show everything. You know, just something that's formal and for her age group. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. I'm going to let you at home and you in the audience have a, a few deep breaths because when we come back... Please do. <laughs> please do. Brace yourself. Be ready. Be yeah. ready. Be ready for this. I'm bracing. I'm bracing. All right. Yeah. We will meet Linda. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean Ms. Jackson. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> if you're nasty. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> Up next. 
Marcel and Antoinette don't understand. I'm doing me, baby. No. Look at her. You just need to tone it down. And later. Someone her age should not be posting half-naked pictures online for the world to see. My granny needs a makeover. No. Look at her. Today on Trisha. Hi, welcome back. We've been talking to Marcel and her daughter Antoinette about Linda. Uh, Ms. Jackson, mm -hmm. who's, right. a, who's a grandmother, That's right. and we've been discussing the way she dresses. <laughs> mm -hmm. But before I bring her out, I want uh, all of you to hear her side of things. Listen to her story. I may be 55 years old, but I am sexy as hell. Marcel and Antoinette don't understand. I'm doing me, baby. I know this outfit shows a lot of skin, but this mama has no stretch marks. Around town, I am known as Miss Jackson. All eyes are on me. As always, I am the center of attraction. Antoinette said I embarrassed her at graduation. If I can remember, her friends was digging what I was wearing. My cell is my daughter and all. I love her. She wants me to cover up. Oh, no, I'm sexy, and I'm going to continue to dress like this. I love my curves, and I love my body, and I love my personality. Angelina Jolie has nothing on this 55-year-old. The one, the only, Ms. Jackson. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Wow. And proud. So, okay, I'm fifty-five in ooh, a few weeks' time. Okay. Okay. So, is I should have this going on? This is me. Yeah, that's this is you. Me. This yeah. is me. I'm I, happy. Yeah. You this firmly is me. think you should be in something more conservative? Is that yes. what you're saying? Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Not really. No. Look at her. Not really. A I raised bit. them. Yes, she did. I got grandkids. It's me. It's time for her, she said. It's my yeah. time to shine. Your time to shine. Yeah. My time to shine. Yeah. 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 Sexy. Sexy. Huh. That's me, baby. Yes, you. That's me. And you like to dance anywhere, anytime. I do. Yeah? I do. Yeah, and you can really drop it. I can. Why is it Miss Jackson? That's me. Yeah. Everybody knows Miss Jackson. Yes, they yeah. do. You get stuff for free. I do. Oh, okay. Nothing going on with it. They just, they know me, they love me. Yeah. yeah. They give me stuff oh, for free. You're kind of like the local celebrity. It is. Yes. Okay. So you're going to show us a few of your moves. Look, I want to show you too. Oh. You can do it. You can do it to yourself. Can. Are there any men, it maybe in the audience, the kind of guy that you're no. looking for? Can you see yeah, anyone? No. You know. Oh! 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 Oh!
Miss Jackson, this is what you call a snack. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I'm rocking the cradle. I'm rocking the cradle. That could be your whole meal, girl. I don't mind. Can you take your mama? Can you oh, get, yeah, can Can you so get down? Can you get down? Oh, I can get down. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That's what I want in a woman. That is what no. I want. What, what, what are you so looking for? Someone, someone who's confident with themselves, doesn't matter how old they are. See that. That's what I love. That's what I love. That's what you need. Mad props. Mad Thank props. You, honey. Thank, no. you. Yeah. Honey. Thank you. Thank you. Honey. Thank you. Honey. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put you um, in the nice. Uh, Nikkei. You see, they don't like that. Oh, she's saying sit. Ain't that song? A A Antoinette, Antoinette, how do you like your new grandpa? No. No. He's, he's younger than my dad. He's younger than my dad. I don't think there's anything wrong with your energy and, yeah, okay. and, and your energy and <laughs> you have good energy, but <laughs> okay. Okay. what, what your, your, your daughter-in-law and your, your granddaughter are hoping you could dress in something a little more conservative. So, okay. So you you're up. You're you're willing for this makeover, huh? I am. You are. Why? How come? You know. How come? You know. Yeah. Just for being one time and to please them. Now I said that I'm gonna keep it up now. No. What? Okay. Well, what but I'm it? willing to do it for them today. Thank okay. You. Okay. That's all good. Um, yeah. Up next. Your son Vincent. He's 21. You would never date any of these. I've friends. dated. I've dated two or three <laughs> of his friends. And later. Are you ready for this? Yes. Linda, come on out. Wow! 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 Oh, they're crying. Oh, My granny needs a makeover. No. Look at her. Today on Trisha. Okay. Today we're talking to children and grandchildren who say they're embarrassed. They are mortified by the outrageous ways their moms and grandmas are dressing and behaving. Now, take a look at these pictures we received. <laughs> from a 42-year-old grandmother named Kelly. <laughs> Kelly loves wearing short skirts, corsets, and porn star heels every day. <laughs> so, what's the, what's the problem? Her 18-year-old daughter, Alex, and her 21-year-old son, Vincent, called it scandalous. In fact, they say their mom crossed the line when she started dating Vincent's friends. <laughs> yep. Take a look at their desperate plea for help. Watch. My mom likes showing off her tattoos. I think they're drawn on mistakes. When I was a kid, I remember my mom actually dressing presentable. She used to be covered up. Now she barely has anything on. I'm not saying she can't look good, I'm just saying she should put some pants on every once in a while. My mom does modeling online. She has a bunch of men looking at her in inappropriate lingerie. I don't like it. It's not what a mom should do. Someone her age should not be posting half-naked pictures online for the world to see. The worst part about all of it is, she flirts with my friends. That's flat-out embarrassing. Trisha, we need help. We really want this makeover for our mom. My mom dresses and acts like she's 16, and we're sick and tired of it. It's inappropriate. Oh, wow. OK, before we talk to the kids, I want to get right down to it and talk to Kelly. Kelly, come on out.
Kelly. <laughs> so, Kelly, you are an entertainment model. What's an entertainment right. model? Right. I'm like a plus size um, alternative model. I do a lot of lingerie modeling. But what kind of attention do you get when you go out dressed like this? Well, I get all kinds of different attention. It's, it's mostly positive, really. Yeah. I've had like a bunch of marriage proposals. I really? get <laughs> gifts. How do your kids feel about the attention that you get from other guys? I understand, you know, your son Vincent's friends kind of, what, you flirt with them? I don't really flirt with them. They seem to uh, spend more time coming to talk to me than they do him, and I think he gets upset. Oh. <laughs> but you, how old is he? How old is 21. He? He's 21. You would never date any of, of uh, his I've friends. Dated, I've dated two or three. Of his friends? Yes. Yeah, you mentioned your daughter who's 18 and yes, we can we can see her up there. Now you like dressing like this. Right. What do you think of the way your daughter dresses? Mm, I kind of think well, she wears things that are really really too big. Mm -hmm. Just kind of hides in there, kind of yeah. like a potato yeah. sack. And there's nothing feminine to it, you know? And so There she just, is. There she is. Where's your... That's my baby. That's your baby. <laughs> How do you wish she dressed? I Maybe just like a you? little more. No, 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 no. I mean, not, not, what? not what this exactly. It's yeah. just maybe with a little more style, just a tad of femininity, you know. So you're willing to have a makeover, what, for your kids to make them feel more comfortable, or is this for you? Both. I mean, I, I I'm fine with it. Yeah. I mean, I'm like I said, I'll try anything once, <laughs> maybe <Okay>. more. <laughs> okay. All right. So when we come back. Kelly's children, Vincent and Alex, confront their mother about this. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Up next, what do you think of her dress like this? Uh, I think it's ridiculous. I can't stand it. How do you wish your mum dressed? Like she's not trying to get laid at a party. <laughs> and later. Well, let's see what Kelly looks like now. Kelly, come on out. Woo. Wow, wow, wow. You are the pop. You're up on stage. My granny needs a makeover. Look oh. at her. Today on Trisha. This is 42-year-old Kelly, and Kelly says she's a well-preserved grandmother and sees nothing wrong in posing for photos like this, and even ones like this, yep, on her Facebook page. But there are two very important people in Kelly's life who have a big problem with it, her children, Vincent and Alex. So let's welcome Vincent and Alex. <laughs> quieter entrance than your mom did just then. What do you think of her dress like this? Uh, I think it's ridiculous. I can't stand it. You know, if we ever go out, I always dart away from her. Do you think people judge your mom? Uh, definitely. They do? What, what, what sort of uh, ideas do they come up with about your mom that, that you know aren't true, but from the way she's dressed, that's what people sort of believe about her? That she's open to sexual advances, that she's easy, that... She's cheap. That's Definitely. what they think. It's all she thinks about. I mean, she's always talking about taking more photos and getting different outfits to look sexier, and it's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Suck. So, um, Alex, how did your graduation go? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> my mom decided that she was going to show up to my graduation and a mini skirt and heels. It was a corset dress. She saw it as, <laughs> it was beautiful. It was short, but it was from And everybody was staring at you. And it was really embarrassing for me because my teachers were there, my friends were there, and everybody was seeing that. I'm sorry. I mean, oh. I didn't mean to upset you. I thought I looked good. <laughs> if your mom dressed differently, do you think it would make a difference to the relationship that you have with her? Definitely. Yeah, we would we would be we wouldn't feel like we have to baby her like we have to be the parents. We wouldn't feel like we have to watch over her and make sure she doesn't do something 
you know, reckless, I guess, because she, she kind of acts like a teenager sometimes. When, when you say reckless, you mean impulsive? Yes. Are you inspired by your mom's fashion sense? <laughs> Not at all. She... Yeah. She... She's actually made me, like, feel kind of, I guess, like, self-conscious maybe because she makes me feel like looks are the only thing that matters. So, Vincent, how do you wish your mom dressed? Uh, like an adult, you know. Yeah. Like she's not trying to get laid at a party. <laughs> and, Kelly, how do you wish Alex dressed? Just with, I mean, whatever makes her happy, but maybe with a little more style, some type of style. I think she's just kind of... Wears really big stuff, and and she'll wear jeans till they fall apart. Literally, I have to like sneak them away when they're in the dirty clothes and just get rid of them. So maybe we can bring them both together. Do you think Vincent meets somewhere in the middle? Yeah. All right. So Alex and Kelly, we've got our professional stylist backstage. So oh, wow. would you both be willing to have a makeover? Well, sure. one to make under, one to make over. <laughs> would I would be, love to. You would? I would Alex, absolutely you, love it. You're up for that as well? Yeah. Well, before we bring you backstage, my producers informed me that, that there is someone in our audience who believes it's okay to be out there. This lady here, let's meet her. Let's do this. And come round here. <laughs> this is... Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, look at the heels. This is, your name is? Linda. Linda. Linda, and how old are you? I'm 39. Right, and you're a mother? I'm a mother and a uh, grandmother of four. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, oh, you, you've got applause from up there from Kelly. You've been looking at Kelly and Ms. Jackson. What, yes. are you, what are your thoughts on that? I think they're amazing. I think they're awesome. They're beautiful women. They look great. Okay. <laughs> You, you have a Facebook page as well? Yes, I do. Um, and I think we've got... These, these are only some of the pictures we could show. Uh -huh. You, um, you kind of... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what about your kids and your, your grandkids? Are they cool with the way you dress? Well, my grandchildren are little yeah. and um, my sons are fine with it. Um, the only problem is my daughter does not like them. No, all. girls, girls no. have a problem, don't they, Alex? <laughs> girls have a problem. Okay, so would you be willing to have a make, I don't know, under? Yeah. Make under? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Under, under, under. Under. <laughs> so come up here. Look at those heels. I couldn't walk. Can you, can you, can you get up here on those heels? Oh, she did it. Woo. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, I know my glam squad from Lavar Salon is ready to jump into action. Yeah. So one, two, and three. And when we come back, we're finally going to reveal our makeovers and our make-unders. And trust me, you're going to want to stay tuned. <laughs> Ready for this? Yes! Linda, come on out! Wow, wow, wow! They're crying! And later. Get ready for this. This is what Alex looks like now. Come on out, Alex! My granny needs a makeover. No. Look at her! Today on Trisha. Earlier in the show, we met four women in desperate need of a makeover. So, all four women have been cut, coloured, styled. It's time to reveal their new looks. <laughs> and I haven't seen any of them. 
So this is a surprise for me too. Now who can forget 55-year-old Linda, a.k.a. Miss Jackson? You remember? Yeah. <laughs> she claimed she was one of the sexiest women alive. Here's what Linda looked like before. That's her. Now, you remember uh, she met a young man from our audience as well? <laughs> yep, uh, that was your new granddaddy armkit. <laughs> okay, people, here's what Linda looks like. Now, you ready for this? Yes. Linda, come on out. <laughs> Great. I you feel like fabulous. Yes. I do. I do. Yes. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Did you ever think, did you ever think before when they were talking about wanting you classier and what have you, did you ever think that you would look like this and feel good? No, I did. You didn't? I did. But now I do. When you look in the mirror, you're seeing what? Listen to this. I, when, when you I, see, a, I see better. I see a classer. Still fine, still under, yeah. but still a little bit better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know I can do it. Well, Ellen from Lavar Hair Designs is here. Come on, Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. <laughs> so, um, what did you do differently to Miss Jackson? You did well, a great job. Thank you, yeah. Miss Jackson. As we all know, she's special, right? A lot of energy. <laughs> so I wanted to give her some hair that she could flip around while she does her lovely dancing, yeah. but yet still look beautiful and sexy. No matter what age you are, you could always be sexy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just right. gave her a little fringe around the yeah. face, soft mm -hmm. curl. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, you have done brilliant work. Well, Marcel. I love it. I love Antoinette. it. I if she it. turns up at your, your your prom or anything like this in the future looking like this, you're gonna be what? Proud? Proud. Proud. She happy. always be there in tears. Oh my god. I love it. I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep it up. You're gonna keep it up? I'm gonna keep it up. Keep it. Oh my yeah, god. I am. Okay. Seriously, I wouldn't come out of here and say Yeah. You're gonna keep this up? I'm gonna keep it up. Okay, so all the guys out there who gave you free goods. <laughs> we still wanna see the free goods. I yes, do. Right. I do. You do. I want a good man. H Oh, a good man. You got me. We can go out to eat. He's young. You can go out to eat. Yeah, you just I love you, honey. I changed for you. You did. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't even know who he was. Thank you, honey. You look great. You look great. Yeah. I didn't know who he was. Sure, okay, sure. you can go out to eat. Just don't eat him. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, I'm glad we were able Thank to help. You, we will be right Thank back. You, honey. Thank you. Well, let's see what Kelly looks like now. Kelly, come on out. Wow, wow, wow. You are the best. Get off my stage. My granny needs a makeover. No. Look at her. Today on Trisha. Okay, we're back with Vincent. He 
and his sister Alex came to us for help with their mother Kelly, who admits she loves to wear tight, low-cut and see-through clothes. Now Kelly claimed she dressed sexy in the hopes of inspiring 18-year-old Alex to dress more like a girl. So we gave both of them a makeover of a lifetime. We're going to bring out your mom, Kelly, first. So everyone, let's remind you of what Kelly looked like before. Yeah, it was horrible. You, you were going, <laughs> well, let's see what Kelly looks like now. Kelly, come on out. <laughs> What, what do you think? Just an amazing turnaround. You like it? Yeah, thank you, guys. You like it? Really? Your face, his face. It's beautiful. I even, it doesn't even look like me. I mean, I was looking in the mirror, and I was like, that doesn't look like me. Yeah, but before, you were convinced that how you had a whole look going on there, and that was where it began and ended. But you're saying you like this? I love it. How come? It's so pretty. It's like refined. I mean, yeah, I still have a bust, but I mean, you know, it's not everything doesn't have to be on show. You love it. I love it. Are you gonna keep it up? Yes. You are. <laughs> Remember, there's one more person that the two of you have yet to see. Everyone, let's remind you, this is what Kelly's daughter Alex looked like before. She was uh, into the baggy t-shirts and the baggy trousers. Get ready for this. This is what Alex looks like now. Come on out, Alex. <laughs> Mom's crying with happiness. <laughs> You're gorgeous, I swear. You look great too. Uh, yeah, what do you think? What do you think of how mom looks? You, like you look really attractive, and I Thank think that you. it's respectful too. I like it. I like it too. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Ellen, come on up here. I want you to tell us what you did. I mean, you did a lot here. Let's 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 start with mom. Let's talk. Yes. What we did was just give her a trim, but we gave her the new ombre, which is the dark to yeah. light. So which it lightens up the bottom, so it doesn't look as long and heavy. What did you do with Alex? I mean, it's a complete transformation. My God, mom. Alex! What a beautiful, sweet personality she has. Oh, yeah, my but she was so hiding. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted, from the day I saw her picture, I wanted her to be red, and we cut her and we kind of <laughs> shaved one side shorter to keep it a little funky for her, so she could actually spike it yeah. when oh, she feels okay. like it. And this is going to help bring out her, you know, self-esteem and make yeah, her feel much better about herself. Because the more people say how beautiful she looks, even the more she'll even start to feel that. Absolutely. And you can even tell when she walked out. Uh, now, remember Linda? She was a member of our audience who believed being sexy was letting it all hang out. Let me remind everyone, here is Linda before. There she is before. Let's see the transformation. Here is Linda now. <laughs> I feel amazing. Before, when we met you down there in the audience, mm -hmm. like all of the ladies we met today, mm -hmm. you thought your look was where it was at. Yeah. You had it nailed. So what do you say to this look? Um, I still feel sexy, so I like it. You like it? Yeah, I love it. You like it? Yeah. Ellen, you have done amazing work, Thank and you. we will be right back after this. My granny needs a makeover. Look at her. Today on Trisha. 
Okay, I want to give a very special thanks to our friends at Lavar Hair Designs in New York City. Ellen <laughs> here, and the girls there. And uh, our stylist, Nicole Di Marcelli, for making our guests look and feel so fabulous. Okay, we're going to say bye-bye. Get out of here. Bye-bye.